at all. Firstly, let me show you what functionality the plugin has. The main functionality of the plugin is its search forms. Search forms can be inserted as short coding by short coding or as widget. Let's try it. Let's try in widget. Press man. Found totally nine items. It's uh, a JAX item recount. It tells us that after pressing filter, we will see nine items. Let's do it. Filter. Eight plus one. Yes, of course. And all of these items in taxonomy product categories with term man. Let's find man in Germany. In Germany. And for winter. The widget will find for us, the plugin will find for us two items. Let's check it, filter. Yes, two items. You can see here top so sort sort by top panel. You can sort by price or by date. Each widget and each short coding has its own constructor where you can for each widget or for each short code make its own top panel sort top panel okay functionality of the short code is the same Now let's look at second uh, at second demo site. For example, you have houses. You have real estate site. Okay, no problem. By building meta field constructor, you can create such filters and use it. Top panel is just for this widget. Top panel creates by building constructor. If you have car side, you can create filters for cars. For example, you have hotels. Okay. You'll find that on one item. Notebooks. You can create different filters with a lot of options okay let's see now books mm, multimedia mm -hmm. more than two gigabyte of memory one item will find filter yes and some stuff Let's look at blue flowers. And it, mu and it must have yellow. 
and purple. Ah, yes, of course, it's one. Yellow, blue, purple. Okay, it works. You have ability to set filters into it by widget and by shell coding. So, if you decided that you need this plugin, watch this video further. And now, let's look video how to work with the plugin. Let's go. First, activate it. The plugin is activated. After activation of the plugin, in your page appear such page metadata filter result page with just one short code don't remove it don't touch it and in your current zen we'll copy such template template metadata filter don't remove it it's all need for plugin walking Here is the plugin stuff. What we can see here. Look at see in settings. After activation, here are some default settings. Link to just created page, output sorted post template, and supported post type. As we are going to work with full commerce, you should check product. Save changes. Okay. Now, I have a lot of products and I want to make them searchable. How to do that? For this, I have... Uh, I have built-in metadata constructor. Firstly, Let's create filter which work only with taxonomy. Add new. Prepare. Right, you want. Here you have to select taxonomy. Publish. And one important thing all filters must be in the category. Let's create it. Update. Now go to widgets, appearance widgets. Add this widget, metadata and taxonomy filter. Select category, group, shop. This category we just create for our filters. Slug, product. As we are going to use only taxonomies, hide meta values filter options. Don't look at here now. Press save. After press saving, new taxonomy appears just for products. Let's select locations and product categories. Let's press options. Here we can uh, select how to show this term. Let it be checkbox. Another option is for hiding. For example, we want to hide men. I don't know. Let it be shown now. For example, apply. Here you can choose dynamic poster count. Recommend. High terms, the count of items is zero. 
it's recommended to select only if you use the widget in uh, outer submit form. But I'm going to use it in Ajax item recount, so don't check it. Say, I want to add sort by top filter. Mm. No, we not. Oh, of course, we use taxonomies. This works only with meta fields. Let's go to front. Yes, we see locations, Germany. And woman. No woman in Berlin. Filter. One scattered dress will be. Yes, it find one scattered dress. But look at this HTML. We use WooCommerce. In WooCommerce has one thing as overriding of templates. To let uh, to let the plugin work well, you should go to your current them. I have canvas now. Create the WooCommerce WooCommerce folder, and then. Go to plugins, WooCommerce, templates, and copy our chief product. Just copy it and paste here. After this operation, you should go to your settings and the settings, and right here, WooCommerce, our chief, chief product. Refresh page, and what we see, we see nice goods. Just one woman scattered and dress. Okay, let's go to widget and show main category. Appearance, widgets, product categories, and check this. Apply. Here is a man. Just now we'll find one jeans. Yes, one jeans. Okay. Now we want to add two new meta fields. Three. Winter, summer and fashion. Winter and summer will be check boxes. That means we is winter for winter or for summer. Fashion will be Europe, USA, Asia. What we should do? We are going to our built-in metadata constructor. Add new filter. Maybe it basic. Let it be basic. Any name just for you. You should understand. It. Fashion. This will be drop down. Europe. USA. Asia. Don't forget to check category. Append. Winter. Checkbox. Append. Summer. Publish. We just created new meta fields by construction. But how to work with it? We are going to products. Open any product.
you see here meta box meta data filter options you should sell a category who shop that category we just created here I thought that category is very important thing so what we have fashion winter summer hmm. Europe winter update we see it said and this meta fields case appears in custom fields of WordPress. Where is it? Where is it? Look at this. Yes. But it's, it's a little not beauty. Let's make it beauty. We are going to our filter. Let's name it new fashion. Attention. All keys for the build constructor must be begins from Medafi predicts. Change method. Update it. Okay. New winter change and new summer change. Refresh this page. It's all on this place. Europe winter, but look at this. It's more beauty. For example, your developer will want you use it in your PHP code. Of course, it's better to use such beauty case. Its names save uh, save mm, rename. If even this key already in posts, in products, you can change the name uh, without any troubles. Yes. Now let's look at our widget. Appearance widgets. Uncheck this. Hide meta values filters options. Check. This show new attributes count. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Try this yourself. <laughs> Save. Now we have one winter, one Europe. Why? Because we have to for each product, for each product, set these values. Okay, let me do it, but video is on pause. Now all the products have values in our new meta fields. Let's look in front. Yes, winter 8, summer 4. Let's press summer 4. <laughs> no winter. And in Europe. Filter 1. Yes. Now we can look at another, let it be man, not only for Europe, any, summer, and pullover, summer pullover, very good. Okay, we can see summer pullover for man. What if I want to reset data? Let's go to widget. And press show reset button. Update. I have reset button. 
it's very useful for me when I want to begin a game. Let's look we interview for woman. Dress. Okay, shift. No, scatter woman winter dress. Filter. Yes, just winter scatter woman dress winter. But found the one items. It's right. For such money, we can create not only four wheels, but for cars, for example. Like, let's look to another demo. Cars, filter. Now I see meta fields for cars. Central logging, checkbox, description, climatization, electric windows, checkbox, ABS, color exterior. So what else? Cities as taxonomy. Year as range slider from two. Millage as range slider from two. Full type. Body type. So with this by built in metadata filter, you can create any data structure. Just to switch on your fantasy or do that you want. You have homes, okay, let's create options for homes. You have cars, no problem, let's create options for cars. You have notebooks, let's create options for notebook. What about notebooks? Oh, nothing interesting. A lot of checkboxes. Here we have filter. Where is the full thing? Remember this. Plus. Checkbox for similar task. Yes, yeah, a lot of checkbox, nothing interesting. So, nothing difficult. Another problem. We have already price for each product and we have for example 1000 items with price and we want to use our existing data how to do that each product has meta field with name underscore sale price and you can't see it here because it begins from underscore. And in WordPress, all meta fields which begin from underscore will not show in custom fields meta box. But this price, not this price, sale price, K is oh sorry underscore sale price so, sale price I know it because I look at this by fire buck sale price we have such great functionality as reflection to add new price, let's create filter. Add new filter. Price. Of course, we can add a taxonomy to fashion that I want to make with new filter. Depend item. Price. Blue shop. Range slider from zero to two thousand. Publish. And now 
look here. Example. Regular price with regular price that reflected meta field game products. Reflection synchronizes data with already existing meta case and makes them searchable. To make this input reflected, we have to check this place cell price key here and press update. And note, we not doing just after prepending. We created press update. And after that, we pass this key here. Let's look at our products. Yes. We can see here price is reflected by sale price. 200 dotted. Yes. Go to our front. We have range slider with price. We'll find four items. Hilton. And we'll be man. All men. Yes, all men. Four items. This is a Jack's account, very powerful thing. You can reflect any data. Check boxes or drop downs. Let's look at our product. Mm. Select custom values. Each uh, on this side, each product has uh, meta field, select custom values, which have values uno, dos, tres. Let's, let's reflect it. We are going to our filter. Let's go to basic. Basic. Prepend item. Update and after this, check fast update. Go to our front reflection example. Uno will find for item for items. Yes, for items. For items found and check both reflect. It's created in the same way. <coughs> but what about if we want to place taxonomies first, after that price, and basic will be last? No problem. Going to our filters. Bushop filter. It's one category, but I show you that we can use it. Okay, taxonomies. Zero. Price. One and this second. For sequence, we use sequence. Text elements will be first, then price, then basic. Let's update our front. Yes, text elements, price, and basic. Next. What about if you want to make email emails for your customers? We want to show we want to show we are for from Germany and let it be winter and let it be woman dress dress. Let's look. Yes, we have two dresses. Two dresses. And let it be sorted by price. Hmm. 
Let's go to our widget. Add sort by item, price, save. Let's do it again. Germany, woman, dress, dress, winter, filter, price. Okay. You want to sell your customer such big link? Of course not. Or you want to make an advertisement? What's this link? This is not sale compatible. This is just big mess of data. How to make short and sale friendly link? No problem. What we should do? Firstly, for this is going to go to MDF settings. Check this, use marketing short links. Save change. Low key, MDF marketing. Oh, my Germany goods. Hmm, let it be so. All data. Press add new. Germany winter. Dresses. Fast big link here. Check this. Publish. Category here is just for your convenience and mean nothing. Okay, let's write link sales suffix. Germany. Woman winter dresses. And I want here will be woman. We are going marketing settings. No. Woman clothes. Woman clothes. Sorry. I refresh the page. Clothes, clothes. Add link prefix. Woman clothes. Say. Go to our link. Woman clothes. Update. So we have such links. Look here. And look here. Let's copy this. And pass in browser field. Here you are. Such short and very sale friendly link, which you can distribute as you want by emails, by advertisements, uh, place on button of your uh, site, and it shows that result which you want. Woman German dresses and sort by price. Let's consider short codes and the short codes. Create one new. Give any name. Select category, filter, push up, publish. Let it be Ajax Auto Submit, show count, show reset button, show found totally, and of course, click here to manage better. To manage bad taxonomies of the selected post type, you should press update button. Okay. You should press update button. Update. And we can see here taxonomies for product. Let's select locations and product categories. And product categories can be checked both. 
custom filter panel. We can sort by only price. It's range slider, right? Short code from skip. I will tell you. I will tell you about it. Hmm. How to use it? <laughs> we can copy this and insert where we want. For example, I want to insert it just in here of PHP. Go to front and look at the result. Here you are. Okay. We have inserted short code which gave us search form. <laughs> we can use this in the same way as we did it. Winter, recounted, man, recounted. What we can do is price to items fashion Europe. Let's look, look um, closer to this. For example, I don't want to use taxonomy. Okay. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. It's harder. Or I won't let price will be first. Okay. Mm, price is first. Or I won't let go fashion, winter, summer, and reflection will be last. No problem. And summer will be first. Update. Yes, it works. Mm. I don't want to show some uh, show fashion. I don't know why, but for example, you want to hide it. Yes, let's hide it. Nothing, nothing, pro no problem at all. Filter. Three items. Yes, it works. One more thing. Of course, different WordPress MS has another design. And uh, for example, you can insert your short code in header, in content type of any post, and it will not be muted. For this, here is such functionality as skins for short coding. Look here, plugins, metadata filter, views, short codes, skins. Here is one skin, default. Here, is, uh, here lies images, slider, uh, KSS for slider, and styles. If you know KSS, you can create it by copy, paste, and uh, change name, for example, white. But attention. Uh, let's do it. Let's name it white. No, no, dark. Let's wait. Dark. Sorry, no. Press right button. Dark. Dark. Styles. Look at here. Default. Because previous M skin was default. We have to find all this and replace it by MD short quality skin dark.
It's important. Slider. We are going to our short code. Here we can choose dark. It's worse, but it is the same. So let's correct a little curses. Border mm. red. Border red. Margin bottom. Okay, here will be black. Let's update. No, no, not only. Yes, we have very very dark filter. So you understand if you want to customize customize this, you have to do that. I just showed you. Just change change parameter of CSS. And let me show you some tips. For example, we want to near this short code add some description. Okay, let's go to our built-in constructor. It's in basic, basic, summer, summer, hello world. Update. Yes, we have to. If you don't like this image, you can easily change it in settings. Just drop URL to another icon, and that's all. For for default, to tip we have. Different skins, Neuer, for example, or 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 boom. I don't know. Even what it is. <laughs> um, yes, good. Okay. Hmm. Imagine you don't. Want to show these names of sections, basic price sections. How to hide it? No problem. We are going to NDF filters, going to our filters, and uh, place this sign update. Update. No, no block names here. Of course, that's all. If you have any questions, write me on my support. If you have any troubles, I hope you will not have any troubles. So write me on support. If you have any questions about this plugin, just write me an email. Real man, real mark. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye.